Hi everybody, so I decided to install the 13.04 Ubuntu Studio daily build to try to find out what will be coming in the new version over the next month or so. So let's take a look and see what's pre-installed. Plenty of audio production applications. I'm not sure what's new, I'll have to look at the change logs later. Now I did add um, Kazam for the screen capture because I prefer it to using um, GTK uh, Record My Desktop. Um, it just has uh, better features. So let's see here. Now I should have done all my updates and the upgrades, so I should be running the latest version of Ubuntu Studios daily build. Everything seems to be moving pretty smoothly. Let's see, it looks like we have some new artwork for this version, which is nice because um, they haven't really put any new artwork in for a while. take a look and see what we've got on the internet front. Firefox is running 19.0.2. I expected that. And let's see here. XX, XFCE is running 4.10. I wouldn't have expected anything older. Try launching a few applications. I realize that since this is a clean install, I probably won't find anything. Let's see if Dark Table made any errors there. I thought I did take a uh, Oh, interesting. I don't have Thunar selected. It's kind of nice that it gives you the option to um, to do that. Thunar 1.6.2. Okay, there was a screenshot from earlier. I'm surprised that that didn't get pulled up by Darktable. Maybe it was the file format. Audacious. Well, I don't have any. This is a really nice, solid-looking distribution. The uh, theming is really nice. Trying to see if I could find some. Ooh, there we go. Got myself a crash. Let's find out some more information. Now, this is the sort of thing you want to um, expect when you're trying uh, beta is that there will be crashes, things will not run perfectly, but the nice thing is, is that you get to see what will be coming down the down the line in a couple in a month or two. And this is a great distribution for designers. That's cool. I could support my um, distribution by going into Launchpad and mentioning that on a bug report. I really should do that if I knew what I was doing. What do we got under Office Software? Oh, that's a surprise. Actually, um, a surprise that LibreOffice or um, Abbey Word isn't pre-installed. So let's see what happens here. I'll do it through the Ubuntu Software Center rather than the command line, see if it installs properly. While that installs, let's take another look at a few other things. OK. 
Okay, let's see what happens when I open a file in GIMP. Okay, everything's fine. That was a screenshot I took earlier. Oh, wow, that was quick. Just for all of it, let's try LibreOffice and I'll open up Abbey Word and see if that works out okay. Nice theming. Even Abbey Word have, have works with the theme here. I can tell this is gonna be a really, really nice release of Ubuntu Studio. I mean the audio production tools in this application are just amazing. Hmm. I tried to open that one application. It didn't seem to work just yet. Whoa. Where'd that go? I saw that flash for a second. So yeah, a few applications don't seem to be working. Cool. Now I tried to install the System76 drivers on my laptop a few minutes ago, and because it's not yet a 13.04 official release, uh, System76 has not released the new drivers just yet. But everything's re working really smoothly, and I think we're going to find that this is going to be a really solid distribution, and um, perhaps a good uh, upgrade if um, maybe you want to try an XFCE desktop. Maybe you're not a huge fan of Unity, or um, you want the extra applications that don't generally show up with... Um, with um, Zubuntu. If you're like creative professional um, web designer, uh, to some extent print designers can use this distribution but um, you'll find it very difficult to um, live without Adobe Illustrator and, and uh, InDesign when uh, doing some design work. I can speak from experience on that. So anyway, um, thanks for watching and Keep your eyes looking forward to the latest release. Take it easy. Bye.